Happy Friday and happy holidays, everybody. We're getting closer to Christmas. Oh my, so have we been naughty or have we been nice? What do the people around us that we've been interacting with as of right now, the present moment, this isn't like, what do people think of you, like long-term, like in general, what you're, this has to do with right now. What are they thinking or seeing you as of right now? Do they see you as naughty or do they see you as nice with all the stress and everything and the craziness that's been going on for all of us? And we've got that full moon in Cancer. I want to know, don't you? So I thought it'd be a fun pick a card tonight. It's going to be a quickie. I will be pulling the cards that you're going to be choosing to pick from. We're going to do six here in just a minute. And you each pile gets a special message from the Messenger Oracle. We'll be using the Wisdom of the House of Night. These cards I only pull out uh, uh, during full moon phase and new moon phase because they work the strongest and very clearest for me personally. So if you are new, welcome. I am Katz. I've been doing this for over 30 years on the internet for over 20 and I want to welcome you to the channel and hopefully um, the pick a card or uh, hopefully me will resonate with you and then you'd like, share and subscribe and comment. Uh, the more you guys do that, the more I'm inspired to post more videos. It, it really does, you know, because I'm here to help and I'm here to uplift. This has nothing to do with me, but I'll tell you, this really helps me to heal and to move forward and it's, it's my sole purpose to help people with my gift and hopefully you guys will resonate with that and more likes, more shares, more comments, more subscribes will keep me moving and pumping out more content for you guys, especially meditations. I've been getting a lot. Can you just do a singing bowl meditation for everybody? Yeah, I can do that. We'll be doing those after the first of the year. So we got a lot of stuff coming up to look forward to. And remember guys, this pick a card is in fun. Okay, in general. So there will be a little humor and I do take this very, very seriously, guys. But it doesn't hurt to lighten it up a little bit. So please keep an open mind. Take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, and remember to follow your instinct. You'll know what resonates with you. If it resonates, keep that. If it doesn't, don't even log it in your mental Rolodex. Throw it out the window, okay? And my disclaimer, you must be 18 and over to participate. This is in no way, shape, or form any advice or diagnosis for any medical or psychological conditions. And of course I am for entertainment purposes only. So on that note, let's get started. Okay, let's clear the bell. Oh, let me see if there's a green angel. It's got me true, it's got me right. And to keep the energy clear for those picking their cards tonight to find out if they're naughty or if they're nice. All right. Oops. Okay. All right, guys, you ready? All right. So what I am going to do, I'm asking spirit guides, guardian angels, to connect with the moon's energy. Okay. Let's clear it up since I am a, I work very heavily with moon energy and ocean energy, um, being a Pisces. Um, but I'm also Cancer Moon. <laughs> so, uh, this is a really strong time for me to be doing readings, and uh, I do have specials. Um, if you look at the previous video, I have a list of them on uh, in the uh, description. That was the pick a card for, are you getting what you asked for for Christmas? Okay, we're asking, do pe what do people think? Of the people who will be picking cards one through six, right at this moment, do they think they're naughty? Do they think they're nice? Pile one. Pile two. Pile three. Pile four. Pile five. And pile six. Okay, I'm going to pull them down for them in a second. Sorry, I was doing timestamps. Get ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You may be called to two. It's okay to pick more than one. The one that's the strongest pull, that's your main one. You want to listen to that first. The second one's your back burner. Uh, the one that with the weaker edge, some people will pick up three or four. So just remember, go by the energy fields. Which ones are the strongest? And then do them in the order as they decrease in energy because there's a message for you in those cards. Remember to go with your gut instinct. 
Now remember, your instinct is going to guide you to what feels right. You follow that, okay, and throw out the rest. You ready? All right, let's see. People of the pile one, it's 513. Sorry, I'm a little slow in my writing tonight. Okay, people of the pile one, do people think you're naughty? Or do they think you're nice? They think you're hopeful. They think you're wistful. They think you're hopeful. They see you as full of hope. And there's hope there. You speak of it. You embody it. So I would think, and what I'm getting, and you know it's really neat, there's the moon. Oh, I'm getting something extra for you people to pop one. I'll tell you in just a moment. Uh, what people see you as is inspiring, okay? Because you believe in things and, and your a passion when you're talking about stuff that you're hoping for. It's almost like you don't give up and, and that inspires people. Uh, there are some that go, yeah, whatever, living in a dream world. But that's because they don't have any. They just feel like, why well, get my hopes up? But you're like, you know what? That's that's what drives me. And that serves to inspire. So, yes, people of the pile one, you are nice. Now, uh, I said I picked up something extra to tell you guys. This full moon, your hope, the biggest hope is coming in that physical plane that's what i feel like so just just keep faith don't expect anything people the pile one just just that's what i'm getting big time no expectations okay just focus on what you're doing now for yourself stay th what you're doing because don't worry you're not going to miss anything because you're not thinking about it trust me it's coming in but you want to kind of step back from the energy so they can come in that's all i can tell you okay now what's your message from the messengers if they back me up on this, which sometimes they do, sometimes it's creepy. Okay, what do we got for people to pile one? The people who are deemed nice by others. Come on. Come on. Talk to mama. Okay, what did I just say? I, I can't make this shit up. It, it, you know what? I've been doing this forever, and it still blows my mind. What you've been hoping for the most is going to be manifesting and that full moon is bringing it in as long as you release all control, have no expectations, focus on you, keep doing what you're doing. That is what's bringing it in quicker because you're focusing on you because let two become one. Let two become one. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. This is, I know, it's just, it's great energy, great vibes. So in order to allow, let two, they're saying let two become one, you need to be open. But you right now you need to put the focus on you. That way you release the control and allow the second energy to come in because it's manifesting. I think you've had hints. I think you've actually had synchronicities and signs here physically. Little, little, little uh, glimmers that are solid. So you go, oh shit. They're coming in. So you're you're being told that uh, the advice was no expectations. Okay, focus on you. Keep doing what you're doing because that's what's powering this into physical reality because you, you're not focused on that. Don't focus on it. See, now I'm like, oh, should we have told you? Because now you're going to be like, oh, my God, yay, they're coming in. Yay, where are they? Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> Put the focus here and now. Take care of the things you need to take care of now. Most of all, take care of you because that is what's fueling it. You are feeling this, but once you start turning uh, the attention, that's where the fears come in, and then it kind of starts bogging things up and slowing it down, okay? So we want to come in when it's supposed to. We want to step back and just go, all right, I'm ready. So that's People of the Pile 1. Happy holidays, you guys, you nice ones. Okay, People of the Pile 2. People of the Pile 2, are you naughty or are you nice? People see you as just extremely confident. And some of you are going, uh, no, no. I feel that. I feel that. I'm, let me finish. <laughs> okay. People see you as extremely confident. A lot of people are jealous and haters. 
because it's, and it's not that you're confident because inside you're probably like a mess, <laughs> you know, but you just, you're just trying to chug along and get your stuff done. But most importantly, the reason why people see you like this is because you are being your true self and you're not afraid to do that. People feel threatened by people who don't, who just like, look, I don't give a shit about the drama. I'm getting my stuff done and that's where I'm at. That is the confidence I am talking about that people are seeing. So I feel that around people, the pile too, you guys, you're feeling there's haters coming out. Now the stress and energy is being amplified by the full moon, so mirrors are happening. So the people that are reacting towards you the most, you look at that as they're talking about themselves when they say you blah, blah, blah. Think about it, reverse it, add the I, like when they're talking, like I blah, blah, and you'll, it'll all make sense why this is happening. But the thing is, is look where you are now, as opposed to where you were. And look where those people that are kind of coming out, I feel like there's people kind of, and you're like, oh, I just, I just need to do my shit. You can go F off. But these people are starting to interfere, really get in your face energy wise, um, not so much physically, uh, but it's almost like you're surrounded. You're like dodging, trying to find a nice little quiet corner so you can go um and just be with you because that's what you need to be doing. Um, but the confidence. So people see you as, there are those who see you as nice and some see you as naughty. Okay, but that's only because of their own insecurities. So I think it's a 50-50 on this one. I know you guys are going, ah, but I'm nice. Well, the thing is, is some people are viewing you as like, oh, look at her. Nah, nah, nah. So they think it's a negative thing, but it's not really. You keep doing what you're doing, pile two. Don't even worry about it. They're going to they're gonna start moving out of the way. After this full moon, these people that no longer serve where you're at are going to start clearing out so to make room for the more like-minded supportive energies people just like you and trust me we're out there so let's see what is your message from your guides for people of the pile too i think people of the pile too is nice what do we got here stay strong stay strong that is your message during this time of anxiety, stress, and you trying to get your shit done and, and trying to get everybody else's drama to stay in their own yard, stay strong. Stay strong. You've got it. Even if you're feeling like you're tired, you're just like, oh my God, I want to go to a cave and retreat. Um, make a time to have space to retreat. However, there, you just remember you've got to get things done. You do have to be there. I feel like there is, uh, there are people that need you kind of there a little bit more. Uh, and so you're going to be tired and you're going to feel stretched. But if you give yourself, you have to at least give yourself. Not like you're so exhausted you pass out. That's not me time. That's, that's I, my body's going to drop on me if I don't sleep time. So you need to try to make at least 20 minutes for yourself of quiet solitude. Take a walk outside and just Focus on nature around you and try to bond in with and ground. That's really going to help right now, especially with all the water energies flying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. So stay strong. You got this and you're a lot stronger than you're feeling. I know people are tired, but you got this and there's my pen. Okay. So happy holidays and you much love and light people of the pile two. Okay. People of the pile three. Are you naughty or are you nice? Let's see lust I would say that would be naughty <laughs> oops okay cover the boobs there in case anybody gets offended I had no idea there were tits and oh that's a guy <laughs> I was looking at it could be either it doesn't matter lust is that thing people are looking at you going either they're going damn ooh, I'd hit that or or the people you're with, maybe intimately, are like just going, oh, you're just ooze, just this naughty, sexy, porno type of energy. And then you've got your haters going, ew, you're such a, ew, look at her butt, it's so big, you know. Um, but <laughs> I would definitely say that would be, people are viewing you as you're stepping into some serious energy. The passionate, the fire, it's like lit up. I don't know if you guys are fire signs, but... Somebody's lit. 
Okay, you guys are lit up. This beautiful, sexual, powerful, confidential, confidential, confidence, and your self-esteem. I mean, you're blowing it up out there. Good. Feel you feel good. You look good. And it, you know, it's not even about sex, but it feels good. It gives you empowerment. But people, just so you know, the people around you are noticing that. Maybe not exactly how you want it. It's like, oh, yeah, that's good. I can get, you know, because that feels good when people find you attractive all over the place and people start kind of, hey, how you doing, you know. But but then again, <laughs> it could be a little bit too, okay, now, you know. But you're not going to step down because that feels good. It feels good to you. As long as it's self, if you're feeling it here and not just feeling it here, keep doing that. So people are viewing you as naughty. Maybe that's a good thing for potential relationships, okay? Anybody coming in? It definitely looks like, I'll tell you this much, that energy coming off that card, people at Pile 3 will be hitting that, okay? I Oh, this is your message. What did I say? If you're feeling it here, and this has to do with passion, this has to do with sex, this has to do with intimacy, look at that. I can't make this shit up. Nourish the soul. If it feels good here and you just feel it through your body, as long as it, you know the difference. Follow your instincts especially. But if you got that fire burning, look at this. Fire. But I can't be. I'm sorry, guys. This is just blowing my mind here. Okay. Nourish it. You're being encouraged to nourish it. You will be safe. You, As long as you stay strong and don't depend on that to make you feel more than because you already should feel more than you are more than you are worthy of and you're definitely deserving of the best especially apparently in this area Woo! that you guys i swear to god i'm sweating <laughs> oh my my people of the pile three happy holidays be safe and be smart okay <laughs> and be you gosh you rock Woo, that energy, people of the pile four. I got you. People of the pile four. <laughs> Sorry, people of the pile three kind of blew me there. Uh, they didn't blow me. They <laughs> Woo, I'm still feeling the energy off of pile three. Okay, people of the pile four, are you naughty or are you nice? Oh, oh my. This is a very strong, wonderful card to have. I would say yes on this one. Oath. Oh, this is someone, uh, whenever, uh, what the picture I got was a knight or a very loyal person. Someone who stands up for truth, stands up for the underdogs. If you give your word, you follow through. People can depend on you. I give you a big fat nice on that one. That's what people are seeing you as nice, okay? They see you as loyal. There are people coming to you that know. Now, I have to butt in because something just came in right when I was talking. Be careful and don't promise everybody, okay? I know you want to be there for people, but you really have to step back and see what you can take on. The holidays are coming. There's a lot of stress. There's work. There's kids. There's family. There's friends. There's things going on. So you really need to prioritize right now. But remember... And I'm telling you, you need to make an oath to yourself. Give yourself your word that you will come first because you will do no one any good. Okay? Now, if you know other people can really help and they're being kind of like, oh, and they're always asking for help because they get lazy, they get dependent because you kept feeding that, now's the time to stop. You were strong. Look at that strong. And there's fire there. Strong energy and earthy. I feel this is very earthy too. But there is fire. Let's see what messages we got for you from the Messenger Oracle from your guides. It's for people of the pile four. What do you got? Oh, what do you got for them? Oh my god, I cannot. Now, what did I just say? Start reprioritizing. Don't take on what you don't have to. Do you know what this says? Respect your boundaries. Boundaries need to be made. People of the pile four. You could still be there for people. You can still follow through and, be, you know, because you're a helpful person. You want to help people. But the thing is, you've got to draw lines now, okay, because you are stepping into a new transition of yourself, and that's a whole new ball game. And the first thing you have to learn, make a note to yourself, you come first. Number two, prioritize. You know 
you know. Don't feel obligated. If you are doing something because you're either placating somebody or you're feeling obligated to them, like you owe them something, but you really don't, but you feel like you should, there's a difference between helping someone in need Okay, and uh, or helping or sharing, you know, like, hey, I can do that, like, when you really want to, but then feeling guilty. Okay, you got to watch that. Those are the two things you need to discern. Never do anything out of guilt, because that just drains your energy, and you're in a really, really good position right now to blast forward in the other areas of your life. So remember, respect your boundaries. You come first, people of the pile four. You nice people. Happy holidays. People of the pile five. People of the pile five. All right, what we got for you? Are you naughty or are you nice? People think you're in denial. So I would say that's a naughty card. Now, why would they think that? Now, I do feel a lot of, I want to say family influence. Now, remember, guys, that this reading is of right now. This doesn't have to do with the past or future. This has to do with what people are seeing right now. There's a lot of stress right now, I see denial now there's two ways you can look at this okay <clears throat> or what I'm getting from this for some of you it's denying yourself of being worthy of the best I feel like there are quite a few of you that people say no come on you should do that and you're like no not really I don't think that's gonna work out for me it's uh, that's what people are seeing and uh there I feel that there are for some of you that uh, people have been trying to reach out to get you out of your comfort zone to go no you are worthy you are fantastic you you know you should do this and you're just you deny yourself people have been I feel like there's been offers made to you but you've denied them out of fear but the big thing is beneath all that has to do with denying that you're worthy of these wonderful things. Because you are worthy. You're an amazing person. But for some of you, I do feel that some people actually, I feel like this has been verbally said to you how you're in denial. Okay. And you didn't like that because, you know, if your first instinct was to attack people, like, oh yeah, well you mean I'm in denial, blah, blah, blah. You might want to step back and take a look because some of the people that were talking to you were friends that were just trying to go, hey, all right, enough's enough. They were trying to help you. So you might want to step, take some moments here, step back and see what they were talking about, what the subject was. Was it about a person? Was it about yourself? Or is it about being worthy and stepping forward? Okay. That's what this is all about. And you are worthy. We're all worthy. We really are. We're worthy of the very best. And, you know, you need to give your, gift yourself that this holiday season. Do something wonderful. Take up an opportunity. Next time an opportunity is offered to you, take it. Step through the fear. Take it. Take it by the hand. And something amazing is going to happen. And it's going to be transformative. That I can tell you. Okay, let's... Ask the messenger oracle what your message is from your guides are. Let's see. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Okay, there was too many. You give me too many. I want one. Give me one card. Shouldn't make fun. Okay. Now remember, take this with a grain of salt, people of the pile five, okay? I know there were some truths there. So be like, fuck you, bitch. You won't. I uh, don't shoot the messenger. Remember, listen to your instinct on this one and be honest. Now is the time to be honest with yourself. We're almost towards the end of the year. Let's let go of these cycles now. We don't want to carry them over to 2019 because they will increase and we don't want that. We'll get rid of what no longer serves. Okay, people of the Pile Fives message. For those of you who really are in denial, embrace the dark. And when they say embrace the darkness, and look at the full moon. The full moon illuminates that which we are in denial of. This is a personal thing, too. Okay, this came up for you guys. You picked this for a reason. Okay, but this is for those who are actually in denial. Don't beat yourself up. We're Everybody gets in denial about stuff, okay? Everybody. So you need to go, okay, all right, fine, I was in denial of it. You need to be honest with yourself and get through that. Okay, you need to let it go now. 
I feel like that's a warning. You need to let it go now so the new stuff can come in. There, I feel like some of you are really trying to manifest something, but it's blocked. Because you, this is a way of hanging on to things. Face it. Look where you are right now in this moment. It's the denial serving you. It's looking the other way serving you. It, it's stifling you. So you need to uh, take some time for yourself. Maybe get with a close friend and really talk about it. Okay. Talk it out. And don't be afraid of it. You know what? We all make decisions based on what we thought was best for us, okay, at the time, okay? And sometimes we, uh, ego plays a huge part in denial. We, did, we are in denial because we don't want to, you know, either we were the bad guys or we were the, the victims, okay? But we're always in denial. Like, oh, it wasn't that bad, but it really was. You could embrace that. Embrace that. Step into the step into your dark side and look at it, and you know, give yourself a hug, and be proud of yourself. So, um, step a, shine a light on that which is been in darkness. Okay, guys, people of the pile five, you got this. You're gonna see so, as soon as you do this. This I can promise you, with the, all the energies going on right now, and if you look at other psychics here on YouTube, uh, look up your sign. You're gonna see backups to this. Um, things will shift. It almost instantly promise you that so be brave be strong you got this this is like your last huge thing to let go of to fly forward into 2019 sending you lots of love and light and happy holidays to people of the pile five people of the pile six people of the pile six are you naughty are you nice let's see ready I think you're nice. Love. Woo. This is love in all its many forms. People feel it from you. Friends, family, significant others, potential people for you. All the single people. Okay. I feel that there is love. They're feeling it. Okay. This is what other people see as of right now. They feel love from you. Genuine, unconditional, pure love. Everything you're doing, you're doing out of just this beautiful space because you love yourself. This is an awesome confirmation for those of you who've been working really hard this year to, to move forward into your authentic self. Do you know why everybody sees this? Because you see it in yourself, because you're loving yourself. This is amazing, awesome, wonderful. That is huge. It is really hard. Trust me, that journey took me a few years when I realized I didn't love myself. And I'll tell you, this year was a year of loving me. And, oh my God, the responses are shocking. <laughs> I didn't expect, you know, what I saw. But this is what you're getting. You reflect, it's being reflected back to you. But I do feel, I have to say this. I have a message for those of you who are single and don't have any prospects. There is, they're out there. And they're coming in. And they feel this. And they feel very protective. They feel loving for you. They're, they're ready. They're waiting uh, for that right moment to come in. So just keep doing what you're doing. Put the focus, you first, and then prioritize down because, you know, we do have the holidays and stuff. But love is what you give in all aspects as a mother, as a friend, as a sister, as an aunt, as a grandma, as a lover, okay, or a potential one. You know, people are seeing you as true love. I'm feeling, I'm sensing twin flame energies here, but uh, you need to focus on you first, okay? Just remember, take care of you and keep loving yourself because they're coming. That's helping everything manifest. Everything's mirroring you. So the more you keep doing this, keep loving yourself, the more that stuff's going to magnify and come into the physical plane i'm so excited people of pile six that's awesome so let's see oh, that was awesome for my valley girl you guys probably don't even know what a valley girl is but anyway all right we're gonna get a look at a mess um messages from the messenger oracle from your guides to you what message do you have for the people of pile six can we have one? Oh wait Okay, there were two, and I was going to put them both back. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. My hackles, right? My hackles. All the hair on the neck just jump. Are you ready? If you guys are anybody out there in pile six, and I feel there are quite a few of you that are single, they're looking for a sign. 
in the love romance area. Twin flame area. Okay. First, see the signs. Keep a special eye out for synchronicities. Okay. And signs. Conversations. Themes in conversations. Okay. You're getting signs. I feel like some of you aren't catching them because we've been really busy. Now, it's things are going to slow down a little bit here in the next day or so. You really want, if you have a notebook, if you have your phone, just try to do a voice note to yourself and listen to it later for any signs or take pictures of things that are like, what the, you know, I do it all the time, ask my friends. Okay, but see the signs, they are there. See this trio, everything's branching out. Everything is coming in. It's coming in the physical plane. And also... For manifestation, I feel that quite a few of you have been working really hard on bringing things into the physical plane, You've been, your intentions uh, for your highest good, you know, what, what moves your soul. And you are seeing this and they're starting to come in and you're working with that. But you're being reminded you're born to create. But not only that, you're born to receive too. Be open to receiving. That's a big strong. Look at that fire energy there. Look at that. It's an egg that's starting to get ready to, to um, you know, hatch into some brand new idea. So any ideas you get, uh, by the way, you really want to go with them. You really want to get them out there as somehow, write notes, put them in the physical plane, take them out of the head. As soon as you get the idea, act upon it. Uh, that's what I'm getting for you guys. But uh, as in matters of love, see the signs because, you know, that love could be standing right next to you, but you have to be able to. Pay attention. And they're going to come to you. So don't worry. You're going to get, they're going to be pretty obvious. That's what I'm getting. So on that note, happy holidays to pile six. And oh, if any of this resonated or if anything comes up, please comment here on this video. I would love to hear it. If you guys want detailed readings, I have some specials I've got posted down in this, uh, in the, the description. Blah, blah, blah. You tell I'm tired. And then I gotta still go out. So, um, uh, it's in the description of this video. So, if you guys want more detailed or personalized readings, I got a whole bunch of them going on from now till January 2nd. So, on that note, guys, sending you lots of love and light. And again, I thank you so much, so much for your love and support um, as I do. Just remember, like, share, and comment. And subscribe because that motivates me to keep putting out content for you guys. And I love you guys. And this is what I want to do because I'm doing this for you. And I thank you. And I did have a, a couple people did ask me about just giving me a donation. Yes. And I will be uh, posting a PayPal link here soon. Um, you can always send me a message uh, through my email letting me know also. And I can send you the PayPal link through there. And I do appreciate that. And happy holidays to everybody. And I'll probably have another fun pick a card up tomorrow. So on that note, have a very safe and wonderful evening.